While fighting game series such as Tekken and Mortal Kombat remain relevant today, Hudson's bloody roar seemed always confined to the bottom of the ranking, despite eventually spawning five separate games by 2003. But the 1998 debut edition would prove to be a very solid, fluid fighter that genre passionists could appreciate. While it perhaps lacks the depth and longevity of its close peers, the animal-focused combat and visual splendour combine to make for an enjoyable time, albeit one that doesn't last long. As the world is consumed by panic and a sense of lost hope, people begin to exhibit increased strength and animal-like appearances, known as zoanthropes. This ties nicely into the 1v1 fighting, which combines standard punch-kick combos with transformations which are mapped to the final button. It's a game of strategy, as while it often provides a damage boost and some health regeneration, it's tied to a meter which depletes as you accrue damage and takes significant time to regenerate. The transformation part of Bloody Roar is the highlight, with eight fighters each bearing a unique form. Whether it's Yugo's iconic wolf form, the butt-focused offence of Greg and his gorilla, or Gatto's lion ulterior, exploring the range of zoanthropes is satisfying and legitimate fun. Unfortunately, while Bloody Roar isn't the shallowest fighter out there, the combo list and match strategies perhaps lack depth compared to competitors. When in human form, combat is limited to two buttons, limiting the range of combos that can be performed. Transforming into beasts adds more complexity, but it leaves the standard fighting feeling anemic. There's a plethora of other elements, including grabs, destructible arena walls and ring outs. However, none of these are really enough to distinguish the fighting. The small roster is also a touch disappointing, as while expecting dozens of fighters with transformations might be asking a lot, fewer than 10 fighters and a lack of unlockable additions can leave matches feeling stale after a while. What does mark Bloody Roar out is its accomplished visuals. There's a crisp fluidity to the game that's matched only by the likes of Tekken, running at 60 frames per second without much choppiness or slowdown. Environments and models aren't at the top of the game, with underwhelming stage designs and some odd looking appendages. But the animal designs look cool enough, with little touches like Greg wearing a top hat, which can be comically knocked off. The audio is a bit more mixed. The soundtrack consists of several similar guitar-led tracks which kind of blend into each other, and there's very little in the way of voice work. The strikes sound potent though, adding a particular auditory edge to zoanthrope combat. Get ready. Fight. Though this arcade conversion is somewhat short on modes, there are some silly extras which deserve a look. Arcade gives players a chance to witness short pre-rendered stills with minimal story as their reward for beating several stages. While not untraditional, the 8 fighter roster can lead to a lot of repetition. Extra modes include survival and time attack, both of which will be familiar from others in the genre. However, a slew of odd modifiers can also be unlocked for completing the arcade, which add wacky elements to the game. Big head modes, removing walls around the ring, regenerating health, 
and a kids mode are just some of these and they do add incentive to keep playing and customising. A couple of extra modes may not have hurt though. Though it doesn't reach the lofty heights of Tekken 3 and Soul Blade, Bloody Raw is a visceral and over the top fighter that just lacks the ingredients to truly ascend to the top of the board. The Zoanthropes make for a diverse, if small, roster of fun fighters, and the little details of Hudson's effort are solid. It lacks depth in spots, as well as suffering from a paucity of modes, but the technical accomplishments and solid fundamentals still make it worth a look for fans of the genre. Because if there's one thing worth experiencing once, it's witnessing a gorilla in a top hat clobber a hapless opponent.